Hello students, welcome to all of you Shiksha 360 and today basically we will come up with the new series that is numerical series clear of ABM clear. This series is helpful not only for the CAP candidates but also for the JAP candidates clear because many of the topics in the ABM basically are also comes under the basically your JAP accounting portion clear basically some of the numericals are also helpful for the retail section clear for the retail examination basically that is one of the optional examination in the cap clear so let's start our session basically this session basically basically this series basically numerical series constitute basically we can say that 25 to 30 sessions clear so let's come up with the first session and in this session we will discuss basically five questions clear so let's start and i request to all of you please subscribe our youtube channel and share this video with your friends also so let's start numerical discussion abm basically part one clear so i request to all of you this numerical series is not only important for the cap candidates but also for the jab and candidates who are preparing for the cap basically this is important for the abm even sometimes this helpful in the bfm and in the retail also clear basically every year in the retail five to six questions from this numericals they have asked in the examination clear so let's start our discussion the first numerical on your screens you know very very easy question basically what they are saying that Mahak invested clear Mahak invested rupees 1 lakh in a bank FDR at 6% per annum. This question they have asked in the year 2022 retail examination clear in the retail. But this topic comes under the ABM and retail both clear. So we expect this type of question in the GIB also clear. So very easy question. We will discuss two to three questions on this type basically in the retail they have asked four questions clear on the basis of that we will discuss all this question one by one clear all these are previous year questions clear on 12th of february these questions they have asked in the examination clear so mahak invested rupees one lakh in a bank fdr at six percent per annum clear at six percent per annum for one year if the interest is compounded on yearly basis clear what they have asked in the question what they have asked in, in different question first question in the yearly basis Second one is half yearly basis. Third one is the quarterly basis. Clear in the examination. In one set, they have given one lakh. In the one set, they have given rupees three lakh. Clear rest, there is no changes. Clear. So let's start our discussion. So Mahak invested rupees one lakh in a bank FDR at the rate of 6% per annum for one year. If the interest is compounded on yearly basis, then calculate the amount. Clear. Basically, let's simple use, simply use basic formula. Future value clear. Basically, we have to use this formula. Future value is equal to present value into one plus r power n. Clear into one plus r power n. Fp is basically future value. Pv is equal to present value. R is equal to here rate of interest n is equal to number of times basically we have to calculate clear so first question is basically we have to calculate the amount payable at the end of one year so basically what is the present value present value is the principal one lakh rate here is six percent r is equal to six percent so basically we can say that six upon 100 it comes out to basically 0 0.06 so one plus 0 0.06 power one clear because it we have to calculate on yearly basis so it has to be one clear so simply we have to calculate one lakh into 1.06 clear when we are going to calculate please tell fast what is the answer so basically we will get here basically one lakh six thousand clear so six thousand is the interest clear basically six thousand is the interest amount which we will, we will get at the end of the year clear so now one important question arises here clear now one important question arises here like when we do half yearly we will get more interest or less interest clear this is very very interesting concept and in the examination they will ask same types of question clear like person will do a fd on yearly basis or quarterly basis or half yearly basis clear in which the in which investment the customer will get the more interest clear or more benefit clear so basically we will understand only these things when we are able to calculate clear Hope this question is clear to all of you. Basically, present future value is equal to present value into one plus r power n. Clear, not any typical formula, not any unity formula. Basically, just simple formula they are asking. 
just put the values in the formula and you are able to get the answer clear so now move to the next question question number 2 same question mahak invested rupees 1 lakh in a bank fdr at 6% per annum basically for one year in the previous question basically the interest is compounded on yearly basis here if the interest is compounded on half yearly basis clear when the interest is compounded on half yearly basis then calculate the amount payable clear so let's write formula same present future value is equal to present value into 1 plus r power n clear so here basically we have to calculate on a half yearly basis so r that with this because this r is basically becomes a half r rate becomes half time becomes double clear time becomes double clear this is the concept if we have to calculate on the quarterly basis rate becomes four by divided by four times and time is multiplied by four times clear so let's discuss here what is the rate here comes out to be 3% we can say that 0.03 time n is equal to 2 here clear so put the value future value is equal to present value into 1 plus r what is the value of r here is equal to 0.03 power so 1 lakh into 1.03 into 1.03 clear 1.03 into 1.03 is equal to 1 lakh 0609 clear so when we multiply it by 1 lakh what we will get here basically 1 lakh 6090 rupees clear 1 lakh 6090 rupees so it tells that when we compound the interest on half yearly basis we will get 90 rupees more clear we will get 90 rupees more than this one clear so investment on half yearly basis is a little bit more beneficial than the investment on yearly basis with respect to the interest clear with respect to the interest clear basically this has to be proved with the help of this question also clear hope this is clear to all of you now move to the next one clear now move to the next one third question here the interest is to be compounded on the quarterly basis clear same question these all three questions they have already asked in the retail examination clear in the retail examination of cap these all three questions every year they have asked these types of question clear that, that that's why i am saying to all of you please understand these types of question clear in the abm they will ask only one or two question but in the retail even they have asked more than three or even five questions clear complete case study basically on the basis of that so let's discuss basically mahak invested rupees 1 lakh in a bank fdr at 6% per annum for one year If the interest is compounded on quarterly basis, not an issue. We can write R is equal to six upon four by hundred. Clear when six divided by four divided by hundred. Basically, what we will get here value of R is equal to point zero one five, and value of T is equal to basically one year. So basically, T comes out to be four. Clear because there are four quarters in a year. Clear because there are four quarters in a year. Now, not an issue. Let's apply the formula. Future value is equal to present value into one plus r power n. So what is the present value here? Is to be one lakh one plus point zero five point zero one five power four. Clear. So one point zero one five power four. It is one lakh into one point zero one three six. Clear into one lakh. Basically, we can say that what we will get here one zero six one three six clear one zero six one three six rupees clear. So here we will get more money clear. Basically, when the investment is on quarterly basis, we will get more money clear. Basically, from the yearly basis, we will get extra one thirty six rupees, and from the half yearly basis, we will get forty six rupees extra extra clear, or we will get forty six rupees more clear. So we can say that the investment in Basically, which investment basically will gets more interest? So quarterly will more interest than the half yearly. Then half yearly basically will get more interest than the yearly. Clear. So this is the sequence. Clear. 
even in the examination they will ask these types of question but you are able to answer these types of question only when you are able to understand the concept clear basically what is the concept behind that clear and in the examination you will get these types of question as a numerical also clear as one marks numerical so just straight forward very easy numerical they have already asked you in the examination clear what is their main motive their main motive is just you have to understand basically which formula basically you have to apply here clear now move to the next question question number four definitely one mark question in the GIB also, in the CAB also, clear, calculate the EMI, clear, clear, calculate the EMI, before calculating the EMI, basically EMI is equated monthly installment, clear, it is basically monthly installment and this is to be same, from the starting till the end, this EMI is to be same, clear, so basically now calculate what is the formula of EMI, EMI is basically P into R into 1 plus R power T, upon 1 plus r power t minus 1 clear in this basically we have to divide the rate of interest by 12 clear because we have to calculate the emi basically on the monthly basis clear on the monthly basis clear emi is always on the monthly basis and if they mention like that basically we have to calculate the annual installment that is a different case but generally it is a monthly basis clear so basically what is the principle a person borrowed rupees 10,000 clear so rupees 10,000 and the rate of interest here is to be 12%. So R is equal to, this is equal to P, this is R is equal to 12%. Clear, but here R is equal to, basically we have to divide it by 12. So 1% and we can say that R is equal to 0.1. For an year, clear, so basically P here is equal to 12. Now calculate the EMI, so put the values here. P is equal to 10,000, R is equal to 0 0.01 into, 1.01 clear 1 plus 0 0.01 power 12 upon 1.01 power 12 minus 1 clear all these calculations are you can easily calculate on the simple calculator also clear and if you are not able to calculate then you can tell basically we will guide you basically how to calculate all these values clear how to calculate all these values clear so when we are going to calculate all this in 10,000 into 0 0.01 into 1.01 power 12. Basically, what we will get here, basically, we will get 1.1268203. Similarly, basically, we will get here 1.01 .01 power 12 minus 1. We can say that 0 0.126825. Clear. So, when we are going to calculate this one, basically, we will get the EMI here is equal to 884.48. Clear. 884.48. Clear. So, this is the answer here. Clear. And one more question, basically, sometimes they will ask, this is the EMI, clear? EMI, basically, this includes principal plus interest, clear? Basically, this includes principal plus interest. In the examination, sometimes, basically, this year also, they have asked, basically, calculate. The EMI, first of all, they will ask you to calculate the EMI. And after, in the next question, you, you have to calculate what is the principal and what is the interest in that, clear? What is the principal amount in that and what is the interest amount in that, clear? This is also one more case study, clear? So in the retail, even they have asked 10 marks question basically directly from this one, clear? Directly from this topic, clear? So basically this is the EMI, clear? So this includes principal plus interest rate, clear? So then how we can calculate the principal and how we can calculate the interest rate? I have already one case study on the basis of that, clear? Same case study I have uploaded, which they have asked in the examination, clear? So you can watch on the YouTube clear and if you are not able to find that video then you can tell or you can comment in the comment section we will provide you that video clear so this is very very important first of all we have to find the EMI and what is the principal component and what is the interest component clear this is the next part basically which we have to calculate in that clear now move to the last question of our today's session a person raised the housing loan of rupees 10 lakh clear here the person gets borrowing or taking a housing loan of rupees 10 lakh at the rate of 12 percent repayable in 10 years clear repayable in 10 years clear so principal here is to be 10 lakh rate what is the rate here is 12 upon 12 1 percent we can say that 0 0.01 so time here is equal to 10 years 10 into 12 it is to be 120 clear so put the value emi is equal to p into r into 1 plus r power t upon 1 plus r power t minus 1 clear 1 plus r power t minus 1 clear so put the value here 10 lakh 10 power 6 into 1.01 .01 into 1.01 power 120 upon minus 1 clear 
And when we are going to calculate this one, basically what we can get the value of EMI, basically 14,347.09 rupees. Clear 14,347 rupees and zero nine pesa clear and nine pesa is that clear? This is the value of EMI clear. This is the value of EMI clear. So these types of question you will be able to get in your examination clear. So I request all of you please watch all the videos clear. Basically we will provide you videos in your abm group clear or even in your retail group clear every week we will upload one or two videos so that you can able to attempt all this question in your examination and helps to clear the examination with good marks clear so thanks to all of you for watching this video and if you like this video please share this video with your friends also and please press the like button also so thanks to all of you for watching this video in the next session we will come up with next five questions so thanks to all of you.